Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you some creative uses of the sum if function. We'll use the sum if function to total our year to date sales, give us a running total. I'll also show you how to use the date function nested inside the sum if function so that we can do a total of sales within a specific date range. Throughout the lesson, I'll be showing you how to use name ranges in your work and incorporate name ranges into your formulas to be more productive and to better explain exactly what it is that you are calculating. Let's begin. Here we have a typical daily sales register. Perhaps you keep something similar. Column A, the days that we will be tracking. Column B, the actual sales made on that date. Column C, an added column with a formula to give us a year-to-date sales total. Equal sum, and then within the range, we want to make sure that we use a mixed cell reference to anchor our top row. In this case, dollar sign three means that we will always be anchoring our top row, row three, in our tally. This works why change? Here's why. As we go through our sales campaign or through the year, we find that we have to scroll down quite a few pages in order to find our daily sales total. There's a better way. Use the sum if function. Over here, I've used the sum if function to give me a total in the daily sales for those dates that are less than or equal to today. Here is today, and here is our range of dates, and I've used a named range for that date. I've called it underscore 2008 dates, all of the days in the year 2008, including the leap year. So it includes February 29th. Over here in column B, once again, I've used a name range. I've named this range that will be our daily sales daily sales. And I have used in cell D2 the today function. The today function will update every day and I've used the today function, meaning I've pointed to cell D2 over here and use that in our formula. Let's see how this works. Let's use our function arguments dialog box. Sum if the range, the range is a named reference to 2008 dates. The criteria, here I'm using a comparison operator less than or equal to. Now I have included it as Excel requires inside double quotation marks. I've also used the ampersand and then pointed to cell D2 which contains our equals today function. Well, now that I've looked inside a range, for those values that meet or match this criteria less than or equal to today, what do I want to sum? I want to sum the range that is called daily sales. Okay, let's tear this apart and create it from scratch. Here's what we do. Equals sum if left parentheses. I use the control A shortcut to bring up the function arguments dialog box. The range, it's name, so let's use the keyboard shortcut F3 to see our paste names dialog box. This is the name, 2008 dates. What is the criteria? Included in quotation marks the comparison operator, less than or equal to quotation mark ampersand and then I'm going to point to the cell that has the equal today function in it. What now do I want to sum? I want to sum a range. It's named. F3 brings up the paste names dialog box. Daily sales. Click OK. Click OK. There you go. What if I wanted to see sales through the end of last week? Very simple. I just modify the cell that has the today function and I subtract seven days from it. My tally is updated through that specific date. All right, let's show you another way that we can use the date function to help us find sales that fall within a specific range. With the date function, we use it to provide Excel the serial number for a date. The date function requires three arguments, the year, comma, the month, comma, the day, comma. We've used the date function 
nested inside our formula over here to find sales for the first quarter. So in other words, sum if within the range dates less than or equal to a date that is March 31st, 2008, the end of the first quarter and then give us our daily sales. Well, that's fine and it works, but we don't have to overly complicate issues. We can simply use name ranges. I have a couple of other name ranges over here. I have quarter two. So these are the dates April 1st through June 30th. I also have named quarter three and quarter four. So now I can very simply use those named ranges in my formulas equals sum quarter two. Let's show you how this works for quarter three. I've already named it. It is going to be the date range that is July 1st through September 30th. Equals sum the parentheses. F3 shortcut. I want to sum quarter three. Select it. Click OK. Write parentheses. Enter. And there is my result. OK, so I've shown you how to use the SUMIF function. It's a single criterion function. It looks for uh, values that will match a criteria and then sums them when they meet that criteria. We use the date function nested inside the SUMIF function. And I've shown you a couple of the many reasons why you should name your ranges in your work and use them in your formulas. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.